Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger, and I'm so thrilled to be here with you. I am coming to you live about writing a book. It's spring, isn't it? And in spring, that's about new beginnings. So what have you been putting off since the first of the year that you really wanted to start? What was on your bucket list? And for many people, I know it's about writing a book. So I have something incredible, but I'm going to also want you to be clear, I'm gonna be offering a lot of content too in this live video. So I sit back and enjoy, but let me get this out right at the get go so you understand what's possible. I've put together an anthology and I am accepting applications right now. You will see the link there, so please go ahead, click on it. If you want to be vetted, so to speak, to be an author in an anthology book, it would be my pleasure to check out who you are, uh, what your contribution might be, what you're looking to do, and if you fit everything, all the parameters we've got going and uh, our terms seem great to you as well, then let's get this going. So here's why an anthology. First of all, people love to read anthologies, right? This is the kind of thing if you're a commuter on a shuttle, on a train, or if you're traveling on a plane, a lot of people prefer the short chapters to enjoy and read. So anthologies are very big on the reading list, just so you know, they're good sellers. Now for authors, why would you do that? You would be in an anthology because if you're a brand new author, a wannabe author, someone who's dreamed of being an author. This is an amazing chance for you to get your feet wet, but not fully dive in. It is an amazing experience for you to actually pen something, or of course type it, and see how it translates out into the world and get the experience of doing a book. Seriously, a lot of brand new authors really like to go this route. And there's two reasons. The first reason is, they don't want to write a whole book. There's a lot of people who, this is not their jam. It's not their thing to sit down and just write and write. And for some of us, that's in our charts, right? That's in our life mission here is to write. And we know there's a lot of pressure right now these days, if you're, especially if you're an entrepreneur, about how to be visible. But writing a full book, which you know is a really big, arduous task, is not for everybody. The other thing that has to do with that, that whole experience and why you'd want to be an author but maybe not a full book author is that authors who have been through this experience of writing an entire book know 5% of your book is writing it. Now, if you've written a book, you know, like, huh, that's a lot of work. I've just, I've just spent this many months or this many years writing and you're telling me it's 5%? I, yes, I am. And I'm telling you it's 5% because if 5% is writing the book, then 95% is what? Let's see if you know. I'll check this out. Do you know? Yes, do you know what 95% is? So I see lots of awesome people writing me, and I love you all. Thank you, and ha. But I still want to know what's 95%. If 5% is writing a book, then the other 95% is the marketing after and what you do or do not do with a book after it's been written and this is for real because you don't want your book sitting out in digital land right you've written it you've given birth to this baby through a book and all of a sudden it's sitting and no one's reading it and that's that's really sad <laughs> it's not why you wrote the book so for people who contribute a chapter to an anthology What's wonderful, and I'll tell you, this is just what I'm creating for people. So I've been in this business for quite some time. I've got 100% success rate. I'm doing this anthology for you. So you have an amazing experience from start to finish. That means that even after you've completed your chapter, I can tell you that everyone's been vetted. Everyone's gonna be writing really inspirational, motivational stories, either their story, real story, can be fiction, nonfiction, or about somebody you know, but this is about something that went from trial to transformation. We want to know what you went through to get there, what it was like in the beginning, what you went through, and what's the wisdom gained at the end. So with this inspirational, motivational book called I Am Still Here, the beginning to end is not only do you get to write a chapter, I have an expert editor who will be editing the book. 
so you don't have to hire an editor. I have an expert graphic designer who's going to design your cover. You don't have to find or pay for a cover designer. Not only that, but I want to make this really fun. So we're going to design two covers because why not? Abundance is great. And then all the authors who are contributing to this particular book are going to get to choose. Just so you know, at the get-go, there's only 25 authors who will be accepted for this. So once those are filled, it is closed. Yeah, it's going to be closed because 25 chapters is about standard. So now you know you've got your written chapter. You've got an editor I'm hiring so that that book is professional and fabulous and perfectly formatted. You know I'm hiring someone to do the book cover and the graphics, and you get to choose between two. What fun. And here's the third thing. The authors are all going to be interviewed on three radio shows. So I've already got a preset for these three shows that we're going to have the authors on to have a conversation, which is going to be a blast. And of course, one of the shows is mine too, and the other two are author expert shows. One of those interviews is going to be transcribed into an article for a magazine. So everybody will also be featured in an amazing magazine, award-winning magazine. So here's what else you get. Of course, these are all bonuses, right? This is why you're contributing, and this is why you're doing something, because it's all done for you, with the exception of writing. Oh, well, maybe not so. Here's something else. If you really don't want to write your chapter, don't worry. We're going to interview you ask you questions, and we will transcribe all your words into your chapter and edit it. Okay, so now we've got the interview or writing, your choice, and transcription. We have got the editing, the formatting, the two book covers you get to choose from. We also have the interviews, all authors will be interviewed. We also have one of those interviews to be transcribed to an award-winning magazine. And here is the piece de resistance. The most amazing portion I feel of all of this, although it's all pretty cool so far, the most amazing portion is that I have a 100% success rate in my company taking books for authors to international bestseller. It is a guaranteed service that I run. And guess what? For those contributing to the anthology, it will be so. So you will all get to be and finally put on your resume and say in your bio and everything else, international best-selling author. So we're going for it. And you're also going to receive marketing copy and strategy calls with me. That's a huge package. I know. I believe in over-delivering because you're worth it. And I want this experience to be so phenomenal for you. So maybe you want to contribute to another anthology in the future because this will be so easy and graceful and have such a good feeling to it from start to finish. The other reason, besides someone getting their feet wet and having experience of being an author before a full-time author, and also having the process entirely done for them is there are a lot of people out there who have written a book. And through writing a book, they just want a bigger platform. And so for them right now, an anthology is actually the next right step. It's a, another piece for their resume and their writing skills as well. So it's a very particular theme and a very particular subject. Um, I'm just going to skip here and say something really funny least from my point of view. And, you know, I actually have a contact lens in, and it's so sad to admit this because I had hoped to be able to read everything, but my eyes have degraded so much. My contact lens, I can't even see what you guys are writing. So I still need to use my glasses, and clearly I need to go back to the optometrist and get new contact lenses. So I see all of you. Hi, hi. And hi, Spike. It's so great to see you all across the world. Hi, everybody. So this is awesome. So let me just tell you, if you're interested, and I assume a lot of you are, because being an author, I've actually contributed to 12 anthologies myself, and I'm already an international bestseller with three of my books. I love the experience of doing it. There's everything good about it. So there is, you will see, right there, the link. 
Debbie D. Debbie D. Net slash slash anthology. And just so you know, my name is D E B B I. There is no E. So definitely spell it correctly. But the link's there too. You can just click on it and open another window and look while you're still with me here. And feel free to ask me any questions you want to ask. I also want to offer to you a little bit of information. I promise content and so I shall. So I want to offer you some content about, I'm going to click out of something, content about, I'll go back to that in a minute. Yeah, about writing. So for those of you who want to write, let's see if we can make your journey just a little easier. I like easy, you can tell. And I really like working with experts. So just know in my business too, I work with a lot of people who are phenomenal at what I am not and I have no interest in. So if you want to be a writer, if you want to be an author, you can rely on me. I'm known as a book writing coach out in the world and I've had great success, not only helping people write their book, but turning it into a page turner, a really wonderful book for all of us to read. And I help authors to create a lot of ease in their space. So writing happens, it flows out of you. In addition, I run my bestseller book, which is a guaranteed international bestselling launch company. And I run visibility programs. That's really the mush, that's the umbrella of what everything I do is under is visibility. So I help people get interviewed on radio and podcasts. I help them with their press media kit, the books and so forth. Visibility, if you're an entrepreneur, it's everything. You really know how to master it. And it's not just about finding an opportunity here and there and suddenly going on radio and hit or miss. If you're not getting results, you need an interview coach. You need someone who's going to work with you, who can help you with your weaknesses and why you're not getting results, who can help you turn things around and become the go-to authority in your field, the known expert. So you have a radical platform by using this ability. It's very easy, right? It's not too much money. It's almost free. And if you do visibility well, you will see great results through followers and clients and bookings and sales. So that's what you want to do. And if you don't have that now, think about it. Because people like Oprah, Vince Scully, Bob Costas, why are they so amazing? Hello, Warren Buffett, sound bites. They all had an interview coach. They work with media people like myself. So consider that too. Okay, we need to talk. Well, Karen, you can PM me. Thank you, thank you. Happy to. Uh, let's let's move a little bit into content here and and about the desire to write. So yeah, I guess I'm going to get librarian here. Let's talk about the desire to write and breaking it down. You want to figure out what's the genre of your book, and there are questions that you can ask yourself to sort of sift through what's inside of you to write. Because of course you want to be aligned with your passion for whatever you're going to spend time writing. So make sure you really love it. Know that when you're writing, there needs to be that feeling of excitement, like you're the horse at the gate and you're ready to break out, just lift that gate so I can start writing because it's inside of me. Thrilled at the opportunity that you get to express something in a way that the world has never known. Now know that as authors, we're often doing, we're doing subjects that others have done before, but it is through our own filter of what nobody's uh, said or perceived before. And that's what makes you niche what you're doing and be really, really different. For a lot of writers, as they start writing, they can start to become haunted by this ancient fear that, oh my God, I'm not up to the task. I'm not a writer. <laughs> a lot of people go through it. So don't be hard on yourself. And it's really inevitable, inevitable because here's the deal. Stories at some level are always about betrayal. Stories are always about betrayal, so take that in. Stories are always at some level about betrayal. And that's something my very first writing teacher, I'll give him a lot of props because <laughs> he never knew all those years ago when he told me, you have to come to Hollywood and take my writing class, Alan Watt, wherever you are. Who knew? Who knew? 
but he saw something in me. He insisted. He saw this radio host and said, 10 years ago, you got to come, you got to come. And I'm like, oh, I'm not a writer. I'm not interested, but it changed, changed my world. He opened me up. Brilliant writing teacher, by the way. So Alan Watt taught me that inherent in every transformation, and all books are about transformation, yes? Inherent in every transformation is the betrayal of a lie. So let's suss that out a little bit. The desire to write is connected to the desire to evolve, to untangle the lie that we've been carrying around about ourselves or our character that we're writing about. Could be a memoir, could be about somebody else who doesn't really exist. And the lie for us or the character is we're not enough. The lie is we're not forgiven. The lie is that it's never going to happen for us. The lie is that just forget it, honey. Pack it up. Go back to wherever you came from. And the story we're writing asks everything of us for a reason. And if we didn't, we'd never surrender. So through story, new engagement, we engage our consciousness in confronting our ego, our desire to get something that we want only to discover its impossibility. So our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to surrender the old story about ourselves, to let the old identity die so that a new one can be born. And that's challenging, isn't it? And that's also really courageous. Remember, the meaning of courage is to do something in spite of fear, not because of it. And it's a soft whisper at the outer edges of our imagination that calls us to drive ourselves deeper into the truth. But guess what? Our soul wants to grow. Our soul hungers for something more than just belonging. And it hungers for its true place, for a connection where there's no compromise of its fundamental nature. And it aches to evolve. That's what being a writer is about. And it's not going to go away. So story actually is alchemy. You might say story is gold. And if we trust the process as a writer, if we stay with writing no matter what, then our unconscious self will tell us everything that we need to know. And it's not always revealed all at once. So that's a big exercise in trust. And just so you know, thank you for what you're writing. My name is D-E-B-B-I. Remember, there's no E. So if you want to go to that, I see you writing. I thank you so much. I'm sending you hugs. I appreciate what you're writing. D-E-B-B-I d.net slash anthology. So I want to talk a little bit more about transformation and writing. What is your job as a writer? Well, your job when you write is to track beats in a believable way that leads to a transformation. I think if you look back over any event in your life, something that took you from a real crap place, something that happened to you that you didn't foresee, that your back was against the wall, that was impossible, and you, or you wanted something and it was so impossible to get it, you had no idea you were gonna get there. What happened to you to get to where you are now? What happened that created that success? And here's a key piece. We don't usually go from this very difficult place all the way into transformation. In fact, it usually gets worse, like a lot worse, like dark night of the soul before something slowly starts to bring us back and beyond, where we have the wisdom that was necessary to gain and the transformation that needed to take place. So you need to track those beats. And we can actually see that the journey that any human being or character that we're writing about that takes place is about getting from one place to another. And that journey inevitably involves a transformation. So what is transformation? It's a great word and a lot of people use it today. And I think it's a really important component of coaching actually. Transformation is what? It is a shift in perception. Ta-da! Transformation is when we have seen something one way our whole life, and then in an instant, boom, we see it another way, 
this new way can seem miraculous. Well, it could also seem very ordinary and, oh, duh, yes, of course, now I see it. So when a transformation occurs, that's when the tension vanishes. The fight disappears. You could tell my dog is going nuts, so I must be speaking truth. I must be preaching here. So when transformation occurs, the tension vanishes, the fight disappears, and we are left with a fundamental knowing that was not there before. And through the story of the hero, the story we're writing, and maybe the story of ourselves, we come to understand that something that we were previously asleep to is now alive and awake and known to us. You know, Einstein said, you cannot solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. So every story begins with a problem. As a writer, you need to find that problem, and it's the problem that wants to be solved. And our challenge as writers, and boy, do we have challenges, our big challenge as a writer is to understand and accept that this character wants something. Maybe it's our memoir and it's us. Wants something, wants it desperately, and the stakes, those stakes are life or death. So if our hero doesn't get what they want, their life is going to be unimaginable. And if the stakes are any less, we're just not gonna care as readers. So it is that way in life, isn't it? Got to get what we want and we want it desperately. Transformation actually occurs when we recognize on a fundamental level that merely getting what we want is not gonna actually solve the problem. So here's an example. If all that happens in the story is that the hero gets what he or she wants, then well, the audience is going to be disappointed, right? Can you imagine if at the end of the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart finally leaves Bedford Falls without having his epiphany that he already had a wonderful life? What matters in any story is transformation. For example, the heroes coming to understand what it is that they need. And when the hero or heroine, hero or shiro, is willing to give to themselves that which they need, then it becomes possible for them to have what they want if, if what they want actually belongs in their life. And it's the refraining from the meaning of the want that makes story such a powerful tool. Story by definition is always moving towards transformation. It is our job as writers to understand with specificity what the shift in perception is. And what I like to tell people that I work with, the authors that I help, write their book is write what you know. Write what you know. Write what you know. You're your best source. What does it mean that we should write what we know to be true as opposed to what we wish were true or hope to be true or even believe to be true? So write what you know. And to write what we know means that we're being asked to write about something that we've experienced on an emotional level and we have come out the other side of. We've learned the lesson and we've been transformed by the experience. So that's actually what I Am Still Here is all about. I'm actually going to go myself to the web page, although I won't be able to bring it up for you right now. But I'm going to go to debbie.net slash anthology. That's D-E-B-B-I D dot net slash anthology and talk a little bit about how you can be a published author this year. So many people that I know want to be a published author, would like to be a best-selling published author, but they really don't want to write an entire book. No worries. That's why anthologies are so awesome and so many people do them and so many people read them. It is such a win-win. And definitely a huge bump up to say, not just a published author, but an international best-selling published author. Really great coup. And how great when you take the time to write that you get something so marvelous at the end. Very worth it. If you have a personal story or you know of a story, or maybe you have a great fiction story of a tough time through transition and transformation, this anthology is absolutely for you.
So I'm looking for 25 coaches, healers, consultants, entrepreneurs. If you're out there, definitely apply. And you can email bestseller at debbie-inger.com. Of course, you got to spell my name right for it to get to me. D-E-B-B-I-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. Bestseller at debbie-inger.com. You can become a best-selling transformational author this year. My superpower is visibility. My superpower is visibility through books, through media, through interviews. I help coaches, I help healers, I help consultants, entrepreneurs who want to write a chapter. And I take you from author to published. I've helped hundreds, hundreds, probably almost a thousand authors write and make their book a success. And you can be there too. If you're interested, there are applications for you to come in. And because this program's completion success rate is 100%, my author's books have already become international bestsellers, and these authors have been interviewed, and they get great results. So I already know my applicants are going to get the same. So why is this unique, and why is this bonus filled? Yes. First of all, you get to write a chapter and be featured in an inspiring anthology book. You get to write your chapter, or if you don't want to write it, we will interview you instead and have your interview transcribed. Your book is going to be launched, and I'm going to do the entire launch to international bestseller guaranteed. All the authors will be interviewed on three podcasts. Global press release will go out for the book. A book video trailer is going to be created for the book. The authors will be featured in published magazine. The authors will get to choose and vote between two book covers, which is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to seeing which one wins. And you can be interviewed for your chapter right away. You don't even have to wait. You can apply, and if you get in, we can get you in the roster and get you going so your chapter's already done. How awesome. <laughs> Definitely a published author this year. Your book is going to be, and your chapter is going to be professionally edited. I promise. I'm big on editing. Nothing goes out unless it's pro. And your book will be launched in the third quarter of this year. There's going to be marketing copy provided for the book. You'll get to be able to send it, copy, paste, or tweak it in your own language if you like. It can go out to friends, family, database. Let everybody know this amazing thing you're up to, you've written, so they support you, and they know you're an expert in your field. There's going to be two bonus online Zoom classes about how to write a page turner and more about being a writer. So you can take that and run with being a writer for your chapter and anywhere else in your life. There's going to be a bonus live mastermind pre-launch for the author. It's pretty exciting stuff. You get to ask lots of questions besides I'll be given lots of content. And the day of the book, you'll get launch screenshots and rankings as your anthology book rises to bestseller. Woohoo, it's pretty exciting because Amazon doesn't keep proofs, by the way. So once your launch is done, it's really up to the author to retain all their proofs. I'm going to provide all of that for you. All you got to do is look, celebrate, have champagne on ice, and be ready for the bubbly and then save your screenshots. There'll be transcription, editing, book interior, and cover professionally done for you. And the authors who register and submit their chapter first are gonna be given priority in the front of the, I almost said front of the room, but basically, right? So you've got a book, chapter one through 25. The first who apply go to the very front, and that's a good position to be in a book, to be read. So you wanna be up the front chapters. So if you apply right away, and get in, then you will be right in the front chapters. You're gonna write about yourself or someone you know or write fiction. Your chapter is about a tough or trying time. Haven't we all had them? That amazingly, you or the someone else you're writing about, you made it through. What was the transformation? Wisdom gained, what changed? What do you now know? What can you share with us that ultimately could change our life because we resonate so much and we're so deeply moved by what you shared with us? And by the way, chapters don't all have to be tear jerkers. Some people are very witty and whimsical. It's perfectly fine to write from that point of view. It might even be about your animal, your dog, your cat, your whatever, fill in the blank, that was very meaningful to you. So no, your imagination, no limit at all, limitless. This is about big transition, ultimate transformation. So 
Chapters can be on anything, health, business, spirituality, relationships, you decide. Because every contribution is massive and will resonate with somebody out there. You can be a published author this year, so you can get ready to enjoy a successful book experience, write your chapter for the anthology, gain publicity and visibility, and sign up today. Again, the first 25 who register receive all of this and all the bonuses. So be an author, be a bestseller, be interviewed, receive book coaching. Why not? What a great way to do this year. It's at debbyd.net slash anthology. And Thank you, Karen, so much. That's, let me read this. You're brilliant. Thank you for your guidance. Looking forward to learning from you. Being published this year is my goal. Listening to you, I'm confident that we should work together. Michael Lang is familiar with my writing and story. Okay, small world. Very beautiful. Hey. Uh -huh. Hey, Michael, too, if you're still there. So there's a lot of names popping up and rolling by, but it's, it's great to see you all. So do you guys want me to share a little bit more about being a reader, writer? What would you like to hear? Because I'm happy to contribute to you today. Again, this starts out being about being an author and the new anthology book. It's available at debbyd.net slash anthology. It's D-E-B-B-I-D dot N-E-T slash anthology. Go there and you can apply or you can I would read it anyway. I mean, you really need to know. I need to know you're vetted and you're clear about what is being offered. And then if you wanted to email me, it's also bestseller at debbie-singer.com. You've got my spelling there. Just spell it correctly or it ain't going to get to me. So more about being a writer. Happy to share. We have all had the experience of being faced with, oops, being faced with a situation where to do something is going to put us in the position of receiving flack. And we need to ask ourselves, where do my values lie? I bet you guys could post a lot about that if I were to ask. Because we've all been at the precipice. It's an incredible universal test, isn't it? And it's the tension between Wanting to belong and wanting to be an individual, isn't it? Ultimately, who am I going to be in this moment? So, and just to answer you, Spike, yeah, just go ahead and email me if you want to be part of it. Or, yeah, you just hit the button. Great. He went on the website and he's going to join us. So as long as you set that up, and I know you, Spike, so this is, that would be fantastic. I know you have some good stories. So the tension between wanting to belong and wanting to be an individual, the struggle for authenticity, the struggle from which many, if not all, stories actually emerge. It's what makes them fascinating, compelling, and page turners. There are so many thematic questions for books. For example, who am I? Where do I belong? What is my purpose? What is love? It's the struggle between desire and fear. So story like life is this constant search for our true identity. Powerful stuff, huh? And it really takes time for us to become comfortable with new consciousness because story is actually about the shift in consciousness. And what happens, the plot, is merely a vehicle that illustrates the beats that lead to the transformation. Michael, yes. To answer your question <laughs> but don't call me now because I am on live so let me turn this off um, so when you're a writer you want to hold your ideas loosely don't become too attached to what must happen it's really good to be a free flow when you're writing of course some people by the way like to go this is how they start writing this is not me but this is a beautiful way to organize yourself is to, you know what you're gonna write about, right? We talked about that in the beginning of this video is how to sift through to ascertain what is your genre. And once you know what the genre is, you're gonna have a basic arc and know what is the story for the heroine, the shiro, or yourself, and how this shift in perception is gonna happen, which is the actual plot and the transformation. The way to do the organization is to actually write your basic chapter titles. So if you know, then you've 
basically plotted out where your book is going to go. Some pretty cool stuff, right? So you don't want to become attached to what must, most must happen. You want to be free flowing, as I said, because we're always moving from the general to the specific. And if we as authors hold on to any of our, our ideas too tightly, then we become blocked. Worst feeling as an author, right? You're flowing, you're flowing, and then all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's like, or you're in the middle of writing. Oh, I've had this happen. I was in the flow of writing an am amazing book about a serious subject that was actually, it had a lot of levity, which is great for a serious topic. I was so in the flow, this is a true story, and I was just starting to date, this is quite some time ago, like, couple of decades ago and I was I was starting to date and this guy that I really liked called and I looked down at my cell phone I'm like oh my god oh my god I know I shouldn't stop writing because I'm in a flow but I really wanted to talk to him but I there I was in this this duality of knowing I should keep with what I'm doing because something magical was happening like oh I really wanted to pick up the phone and connect and I made the huge mistake of picking up that phone having the conversation and all I can tell you is that when I went back to writing my mojo wasn't there it was gone so we all know what it's like to become so blocked incredibly frustrating like how is that possible same person same story I'm writing what happened here it can take a lot to get back into the flow so honor the flow but also honor the fluidity Right? You don't have to be so rigid and stuck in where everything's going to go. <laughs> Here's the amazing thing about books. They inform us. It literally, in my estimation, is an entity that we're creating. And I mean that in the best way, not in a ghosty way. It becomes an entity that we're giving birth to. And trust me, it's got an energy force and a life force. It's got its own chi that it's going to turn around and tell us, this is who I am. This is what's going on. Follow me. And boy, does it make it wonderful and easy and a very surprising kind of ride. So take that ride, be open to it. We don't want to hold on too tightly to our ideas because then we do become blocked. And as I said, that is a really bad feeling and it could choke off possibility, not a good place. We want to allow the real truth from ourselves or from how the book is informing us to emerge. Are you telling your story? Ooh. Have you always wanted to write a book? Have you thought about writing a book? Have you not written a book? Ouch. Because as writers, we're storytellers. We're actually world shakers. We have a piece that the world is waiting to hear through our filter. And readers are wanting and needing to read that has not been put out ever before in the way in which we will do that. You have responsibility to yourself and your readers who don't even know yet about the amazing book you're gonna write. So become a writer. It's time to take control of your writing life, author. Are you ready to write your way to success? Writing is work, plus the courage to declare ourselves writers. Self-discipline to write, vulnerability to share our stories with the world very vulnerable for all of us. And it's okay to take a deep breath and keep going. So how in the world do you write with courage and confidence to fearlessly banish feeling frustrated and defeated when you sit down to write? It's basically time to transform into the writer that you're meant to be, that you came here to be, part of your journey, your soul's journey. You deserve success, I can tell you, you deserve to be seen. Visibility is everything for all of us. And books are one very powerful way to get yourself and your message out there. So your writer success journey begins here. Debbie D, D-E-B-B-I, D dot net slash anthology. And I'd love for you guys to join me. And it would be my pleasure to take you there. I know a lot of my tribe and community, we're of the same tribe, right? So a lot of you who apply, you're going to be the right people.
to be part of I am still here. And I hope you can feel the energy of I am still here. It was created for very deep purpose, even for my own life. And what I have in the last year and a half been able to get through. Deep stuff. But what a beautiful gift to give to readers out in the world and inspire them and motivate them as well so they can get through a dark night of their soul. So if you've got a chapter in you and if you want all these amazing bonuses that I am so happy to share with you because I really believe a book should be an incredible experience. It's always been for me. Go ahead, debbyd.net slash anthology, and I'd love to see you there. We'll check out your application, and we will get back to you. Anyway, peace out, everybody. It's been great chatting, and I look forward to the next.